Good morning guys, happy Friday, April 12th. Yes, I look a little tired, but I think that's mostly my allergies. Um, I don't remember how much sleep I got last night, but anyway. So I am off to get, um, go to Target. Well, that's not, I guess it was better that way. I just look really sad today. <laughs> um, I'm off to Target to get some stuff. I'm leaning on a chair, y'all. And, um, I've just been working on laundry this morning, dishes, um, working on some videos for new business adventure, and that's about it. You'll hear that in the background, that's just the dehumidifier. Um, anyway, so yeah, I've just been doing a bunch of stuff this morning. And I'm gonna, I'm not working today because of those two clients that I had lost that I told you about in a previous video. Um, so I have today off. Good in one way, bad in another, but take it for what it is and just keep going. So anyway, I am going to head to Target, pick up a few things. I may run over to Bell's because on Fridays I get a special discount. So I may run over there and check, I need new shoes for church. My other shoes are starting to fall apart. So I need to run over there and see if they have any shoes for church. But um, anyway, so that's what I'm going to do today. Hopefully y'all are having a great day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, it's a beautiful day that the Lord has made. And I am going to get to it, y'all. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I am getting ready to make my meal for the day, my lunch, and um, I'm going to make a fathead dough keto friendly pizza. And I've showed you the other pizzas that I made with the cauliflower crust, there's a recipe on that one, and then the chicken crust. But today I'm going to make an actual fathead dough like I did the bagels, there's that recipe also, check those out. But let me show you what the ingredients are in a fathead dough. You've got almond flour, cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, an egg, and I am doing garlic powder and Italian seasoning in it. So let me show you how that's done, y'all. Okay, y'all. So we're going to do pretty much like I did the bagels, similar. Um, and I will show you here the ingredients. Let me lower this so you can see this. Okay, y'all. I am going to do two tablespoons of cream cheese. But I bought this yesterday. I didn't realize my dough would need it. I didn't even think twice about it. Um, but it needs it. And then two cups of mozzarella cheese, which is a whole package of the smaller one. Two cups. And then this is going to go in the microwave, just like I did the bagel recipe. And I'm going to melt this down um, until I get a consistent, thick, melted, cheesy mixture. Okay, y'all, I've got this melted into a cheesy mixture. I am going to go ahead and add three-fourths of a cup of almond flour. I'll mix this in. Or try to anyway. It's going to mix just like a dough, y'all. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and crack my egg and put my egg in. Double check for shells. No shells. Go ahead and put the egg in and 
mix this all up and get a good dough consistency, y'all. You just have to work on it because it's going to be slippery because it is cheese and cheese has oil in it. And then you have the, the almond flour on top of that so it doesn't really stick to the bowl much anymore. So just mix it up real good. Okay, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and put in my seasoning. I'm going to put in a little bit of garlic. Y'all know how much I love seasoning. I'm just eyeballing it. You can do whatever seasonings you think your family's going to like. I'm just going to mix those in, fold it in to the dough. Mix it in really good. And then we're going to go ahead and get the parchment paper and the pan. Okay, y'all. I got the parchment paper out. I pulled out one sheet the size of the pan. And then I'm going to go ahead and plop my dough on top here. Just like that. Try to shove it over a little bit here. Get my spoon off. I don't like to waste. Sorry about that. And then I am going to go ahead and, and that's all the parchment paper I have. Good thing it's on the list. I'm going to take this piece of parchment paper and I'm going to put it over the dough and I'm just going to press it out. And what I'm going to do also at this point is because my pan is not round, it's square. I'm going to put this in my pan and try to shape it to the size of my pan as best as possible. And if you want a thicker crust, y'all, I suggest doubling your dough recipe. But if you like it thin crust like me, I'm going to get a cup. Um, if you like thin dough, then this will work perfect for a thin pizza. So a good trick is to get a cup if you don't have a rolling pin and just roll it out. Maybe try to roll it as evenly as possible I'm sorry if I'm sniffling y'all it's my allergies sometimes my allergies don't cooperate with making videos so I'm just going to roll it out as best as possible And like I said, y'all, this is a keto-friendly pizza dough. So, if you love pizza, or just happen to crave it, like I am, this will work. Alright. Just even it out. Let's look at the product. And it peels off there really nicely. Parchment paper is wonderful, y'all. I like it a lot better than aluminum foil. So there's my pizza, y'all. And now let me show you what I'm going to put on my pizza. Okay, y'all. For what I'm going to put on my pizza, I've got Rao's homemade pasta sauce. This goes good on pizza. I always get the garlic kind because I love garlic. I got some Black Forest ham. I got some turkey. Mozzarella cheese green peppers, mushrooms, again my two seasonings, garlic and Italian, and an onion. So I'm going to cut up the onions and the green peppers and I will load up my pizza and then I will show you what that looks like. And this is what it looks like before. There's the crust. Now I'm going to load it up. Okay y'all, I went ahead and cut up a half of a green pepper and a half of an onion. We'll see if that's going to be enough. And I'll show you how I make my pizza. You can make it any way you desire. Um, just shake out the sauce. You can use it any way, you, make it any way you desire. I'm going to turn on the light. Um, this is just how I like my pizza. Pretty much like an everything pizza. Every, yeah, everything. 
pizza or a supreme pizza, whatever you want to call it. So I love this sauce. Again, it's the Rouse roasted garlic. Love it. I just spoon it on there till I know I have enough. And this stuff is not cheap, this um, sauce, but I don't use a lot of sauce anymore like I used to since I've been on the keto lifestyle. Um, but for pizza, obviously, it takes a little bit. And I like sauce on my pizza. I should say I love sauce. Huh? I love saucy things. I love spices. Um, love vegetables. Love all that fun stuff. So, but I love, I don't like my pizza to have no sauce on it. I love the taste of sauce on my pizza. So I used about mm, that much of sauce. So it was up to about there. So I would say that's probably one fifth of the jar for that that dish amount. All right. So I did that, y'all. I'm going to put on some more seasonings, some garlic and some Italian seasoning. Like I said, you can do whatever and however much you want. This is just like how I love to do it because I love garlic. Garlic is so good for you. It is good for your health. It's got so many health benefit properties. So if you can eat garlic, great. I know one person that's actually allergic to garlic, so they can't have garlic. Um, but that doesn't affect me making my pizza today. That's just one of my customers. Just thought I'd let you know. There are people allergic to it. I'm going to go ahead and um, just sprinkle on my green peppers. I love green peppers. Here's a fun fact for y'all. Um, whoops, I just dropped one on the floor. Um, wouldn't be right if I didn't drop something on the floor like I always do. Um, fun fact for you on the green peppers. When I was a kid, and my mama can vouch for this story, because it would drive her bonkers. When I was a kid, um, I have always loved fruits and vegetables. So, yeah, I don't have a trouble, never had trouble eating fruits and vegetables. I would go out in the garden and pick stuff and just eat it randomly. Um, but the story is about green peppers. And when, before we ever grew green peppers in the garden, or maybe it was off season or what have you, um, we would go to the fruit market or the farmer's market or the fruit stand or whatever you want to call it. Everybody's got a different version of it. And, um, we would get green peppers and I'm going to do a grocery shopping and, of course, I would be with her. Um, and she'd buy green peppers. Well, groceries are in the back seat along with me. And, um, I would end up eating the green peppers before we ever got home. <laughs> and my mama would have something planned for those green peppers. And I don't know what age it was that I did this, but I still to this day love green peppers. Uh, I would eat the green peppers in the back seat of the car on the way home. Yep, I'm a nuts child. I love my green peppers. <laughs> I'm like that with a lot of stuff. I can't. So, the reason I brought that story up is I can't open one of these without eating a piece of it before I put it on whatever I'm doing. So, moral of the story is, is don't discourage your kids from liking green peppers. It's okay. We'll just get some more. I told her, why didn't you buy more? But, she's said, well, we were poor, and she only had a budget for so much, but I guess in the moral of the story is don't discourage your kids from eating the green peppers or whatever it is that they eat that's healthy, um, but if you have a budget, it can be frustrating um, to buy the stuff that you need if your kid eats it before you get home. So yeah, I'm guilty of that, y'all. Um, I guess that's just how it goes. So now I'm going to put on the mushrooms. I buy canned mushrooms. 
I get these at Aldi's. They're like, I think, 65 cents a can or something. I still think that's expensive, but it's cheaper than the stores, the other stores. And you can put whatever, like I said, you want on it. I'm just doing whatever I feel like it. Some days I may only be pepperoni and cheese or ham and cheese or onions and green peppers and ham and cheese. But yesterday I said I wanted everything on my pizza. Everything meaning what I usually do on an everything pizza or a supreme pizza. But like I said, you can do whatever floats your boat, y'all. And this is a low carb pizza because it is keto friendly. So just remember that. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and stack on some. Ooh, no, I'm not. These are moldy. Didn't use those up in time. So we are not having pepperoni on our pizza today, which is no biggie. I got ham. It's a good thing I bought ham. I did that for a reason. So we're going to put ham on our pizza today, and I'm not going to cut it up. I'm just going to put it in the large pieces. Sorry, y'all. There was a solicitor phone call coming in. I get so many of those solicitor phone calls a day, it's ridiculous. I'm sure all of you do, too. Um, and off the subject of making pizza here and on the solicitor calls, um, I actually... Decline those calls. Um, and then I block those calls. And then eventually I spend a little bit of time. And I go on the do not call. Because I'm on the do not call list. Like probably many of you are. Um, I go on the do not call site. The government site. And I actually physically go in and I report each one of those. Why do I do that? Well, number one, I'm on the do not call list. They should not be calling me. Number two, um, I had a flyer in the mail from a lawyer's office on a pending lawsuit for so many phone calls I received in a certain period of time. Um, and I'm sure these are the ones that I actually reported. So I've got to go back on and do it again. Um, from a lawyer's office stating, I got X amount of calls and X amount of time from solicitors that should not be contacting me. And to go on to the lawyer's site and file my claim. So I did. And I forgot. I want to say it's like, sorry, my cheese is a little frozen, y'all. I just oh. Okay, so, y'all, my cheese is half frozen. And um, I have to break it up. I'll do that in a minute. But I'm just putting the cheese on. But um, I was getting a do not call solicitor call just a minute ago and quick side note moral of the story here um, on the do not call I'm on the do not call list and I get so many solicitors a day um, and then it will slow down and then all of a sudden I get like 20 a day or whatever um, and so I had to decline that call while I was doing this video but um, here so anyway I declined that call but the moral of this story is here is that um, I'm on the do not call list and uh, a while back I got a letter in the mail from a lawyer's office stating that there's a pending lawsuit or or a lawsuit that's not pending it's already been declared I guess yeah it was already declared um, that I got so many solicitor calls within a certain amount of time and to go on to the lawyer site and file my claim. So I did. Um, and supposedly I'm supposed to get like three or four hundred dollars from that claim, my payout portion of it. Um, and as you know, lawyer costs and all that stuff, the payout and everything takes a long time to get paid out. But 
supposedly that's what I'm supposed to be getting paid out for these calls. So I typically will decline those calls, then I block those calls, and then I go on the do not call registry government site because I'm on a do not call list and I report each and every one of those phone calls. And so that's how I got a letter in the mail for a pending lawsuit against these solicitors um, and how much I'm supposed to be paid out for. So just a quick little thing, moral of the story, is report your phone calls. You might get a payout from it. Alright y'all, I'm going to break up the cheese a little bit more, add a little more to the top, and I'm going to pop this sucker in the oven. So it's ready. I'm going to pop this in the oven at 425, and it will vary on your oven. Um, I am going to cook it for 12 minutes. Oh, and they said to cook the dough first, but I didn't do that. I guess it just varies. Um, I'm going to cook this for 12 minutes, check it, and then cook it for another 10. But I'm also going to poke it so the dough doesn't bubble. So we'll see how this turns out since I didn't bake the dough first. Um, we'll give it a whirl. See how it goes. Okay, y'all. I pulled the pizza out of the oven. And my oven, y'all, let me show you here. My oven, if you can see that, has a pizza setting. So I just put it on the pizza setting and cook it. And then I add a little bit more time just to get it brown because I like my crust done well. So I'm just letting it rest for a few minutes and then I will cut it up and put some on a plate. Alright, talk to you later. Hey y'all, I'm getting ready to eat my meal of the day. I made me a big old salad. Important to get all your greens in for the day. So I made a big salad. And I didn't wait long enough for my pizza to cool so it fell apart when I pulled it out of the thing. But it's still going to be good. And then I have a Coke Zero Cherry. Alright y'all, this is going to be my meal for today. Talk to you later. Hey guys, getting ready for bed. My allergies are acting up. My eyes are starting to get red and puffy. Um, so I'm going to get a shower and then... Um, lie in bed or sit on the couch for just a little while and watch my show for the evening and um, then probably crawl in bed and maybe watch some more videos or work on some stuff. Um, but that's about it. Whew. I got my, um, what do you call it? Essential oil thingy. <laughs> I can't think of it. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Um, going. I tried to take a nap, but I'm sensitive to noise, and every time somebody would shut a door or whatever, I'd wake up. So that didn't work out today, but that's okay. So I'm gonna get ready, take a shower, go to bed, watch my show, whatever what I said I was doing. <laughs> you can tell I'm tired. Um. That's what I'm going to do today, for the rest of the day. Go on the computer, read a few e emails. Gosh, I can't talk either, y'all. I'm sorry. Read a few emails, watch my show, maybe do a little bit of work, and then crawl into bed. And hopefully get a good night's sleep. So, that's what I'm going to do, y'all. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. Try that recipe, y'all, um, for the pizza. It was pretty good. So, and check out all my other recipes. Or I have a lot of variety on my channel, from travel to tiny house stuff to RV stuff to travel. Sorry, my allergies. Um, to all that kind of stuff. Health stuff, keto. So check those out, y'all. And remember you all to live a simple, happy, healthy, tiny life.